All right, how we doing, folks? Your boy, Marcus Money Two Zero Five. The numbers after the name. Tech Tuesday this is from a couple couple weeks ago, maybe a week two ago. I don't remember what it was. Double Crypto Key Weekend, uh, which if we go and rank the double uh, whatever is that they give us, because they've been giving us a lot of just doubles everything. I feel like every weekend now is a double something. It, it kind of doesn't make it as special, not gonna lie. But it, it it does have the effect where I will go and make a little bit more of an effort to play that weekend. You know, um, this past weekend, for example, was Double XP weekend. I, I don't really need the XP. I actually just matched prestige the other day, but I was like, ah, hey, you know what, YOLO, let's just play a little bit Double XP. It, it still kind of has that effect just mentally uh, on you as to getting out there and playing. It, it kind of just reminds you that the game like exists sometimes. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, well, you know, I was going to play in charge, but I'll play a little Black Ops 3. That's cool, too. Um, so you mix it match a little bit over there. But uh, if I had to rank them, Double Crypto Key, obviously, to me, is the, the bigger, the best uh, one of them because of this current situation we are in terms of supply jobs and stuff, which I don't think I've actually spoken about any time recent, if that. I think I just mentioned briefly in all my videos, that, yeah, it kind of sucks, and that's it. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about this one. But uh, I had to rank that one. I'd probably put that one at, at the top. And then, I guess, double XP. But once again, I'm kind of out of that boat now, because I don't... I mean, I still level up and stuff until I get to whatever the hell, a thousand and whatever they tap you out in the Mass Prestige thing. But I don't really care about that. That's just kind of whatever happens, happens. I'm not really... I was never really worried about it to begin with. I'm just not... I think that kind of stuff takes care of itself, but uh, now I'm really not worried about it, if that makes sense. Um, and then the double weapon XP probably falls last. Uh, having said that, though, uh, I did find the use for the double weapon XP, uh, which is... Um, and, and the strange one we had last week, where you had to be in a party to get double I think weapon XP, maybe? Or double XP, whatever it was. That was kind of strange. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Hey, who, are you free? Oh, no, nah, all right, well, uh -huh. there I go. Maybe make Garrick will be on, but all right. Sounds, sounds interesting. Um... But whatever, that was, that was cool. You know, trying diff different things. My sentry gun is just spraying, and I'm like, all right, I know that there's someone there, sentry gun, but come on, man. And these guys, God bless them, they were passionate about their wall running. But if you go and look, I mean, right now, I've been doing pretty good here so far. Um, but we're only up seven tags. Now, the game just started or whatnot, but these guys have proven that, hey, they're going after the tags, they're going for the W, they want to win. And uh, I can appreciate that over there. And what was that guy? What was that? That was like a sniper rifle shot or something. I think that P something sounds like that. I haven't started even using it yet, man. I'm going to hopefully, uh, either at some point this week or uh, next week, I'm going to start the process with that last sniper. But that's when I realized that double XP was good when I was using a sniper rifle. And I was like, you know what? I could go for some double weapon XP right now because I'm like all out of like stuff to do with this gun except for the attachment stuff. But I guess what? I don't have five attachments for it. I'm like level three with this damn weapon. Um, and this is one of those, I hit the combat, oh, no, I didn't actually, pardon me, I just started there. Uh, I oftentimes do this where I hit the combat focus before I even have, like, any sort of validity that I'm actually going to be able, or going to use it. I just hit it, and I'm like, listen, man, it's whatever, dude. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing on the combat focus, and I'm, I'm running into somebody at some point. I'm going to do some, some damage. I just better do it right. Uh, I probably gamble with, I mean, I get the combat focus maybe three or four times a game. I probably gamble with it twice. Uh, you know, other time, other two times, and it kind of depends on the circumstances of the game and how I'm feeling about it. Um, and I'll take any points, obviously. Like the game kill confirmed, I'll take the tags, but I'll also take like that 25 since becoming a 50, for example, and I'll be happy with it. Um, or like a UAV and stuff. Very quiet right now. I remember telling who I'm like, this is too quiet for combine. Like I feel I'm just gonna get clapped from anywhere, all of a sudden, like any side. I still haven't even touched the camera. camera there you go. Use, use that up, boy. Like now you got the hate and I, you know where they at. Rack up the points, you know what I'm saying. Um, so the supply drops. Listen, there, there, there isn't much revolutionary for me to tell you guys. It kind of stinks. Uh, it just kind of does. There's not not really else we could point that to. Uh, it it I don't like the weapons being given that. That's not cool. Everything other cosmetic stuff. I'm a hundred percent for that, and I thoroughly enjoy that. And hey, if people want to pay for that, go ahead. And I think I think a lot of people would pay for that. Honestly, I I do. I, I'm not one of them, but I. I, I know a lot of them would. Uh, if you go and look at Black Ops 2 when they first started that with the camos and stuff, uh, people were buying those camos like crazy. And I was like, all right, I don't know, this seems stupid, but okay. I mean, I, I literally, I only, once I unlocked the diamonds, it was the ones I use. Uh, maybe in this game, I'll use the Dark Matter. But, uh, you know, the diamonds were kind of the max in, in, in all the previous games. That's kind of what I used. Uh, didn't really care about anything else, uh, honestly. So, for people that use different camo and stuff, I'm sure they would have purchased it anyway. If they couldn't just wait for the supply drops, uh, putting the weapons in there, ah, not so, not so good. Now, last week they gave us the, the weapon bribe and stuff, right, for season pass holders. 
They uh, they gave you a free weapon bribe where you were guaranteed at least one weapon in it and like ten rare supply drops or whatever. So I got myself some melee weapons, which is great. I just have a bunch of melee stuff, uh, which is phenomenal. Really, really does me good. Um, I, I, it's cool. It's a step in the right direction, without a doubt. Uh, and I think it was a positive step in terms of like PR. It's like, hey, look, we listen, we care, but it's not. It's not what it needs to be. Still, it's uh, it, 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 it's patching up like a sinking ship with like a band-aid instead of like actually, you know, fixing the damn ship. Um, and then you get the contracts, which will be interesting. I'm very curious about the contracts because there's currently one sitting there now for when. Um, and I can't even. I told someone I was like, I can't even shoot the person who's not even playing. Who? What the hell? Um, it's just, it's gonna be very interesting to see how those contracts play out. So there's one sitting there now where you win 75 games and you get yourself another weapon prop. Okay, I'm like 40 or 50 games into it. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Like, are, are they gonna be like that? Are they not? I think there's daily and weekly. Is like the weekly gonna be like, hey, this week wins 75 games? Like, how hard are they gonna be? Are they gonna be like Street Fighter Five kind of stuff where it's like, yo, you can get everything with the in-game currency, but like you really can't because you just can't get all the in-game currency that you need to do it. Uh, is it gonna be something along those lines, or is it um, or is it gonna be actually something feasible, something that we could actually like achieve and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, win 15 games this week. Get a weapon bribe. I, I I can't imagine it'll be that. That just seems way too easy. And I also don't know if the reward will be weapon bribes. I imagine the rewards will be. I imagine the rewards will be. Uh, I'm trying to just visualize this. I imagine that there'll be rare supply drops. Uh, maybe even some common supply, like 20 common supply. I don't know how that would even work. I guess that would have to be rare because they they kind of add up. But it would either be that. Um, or weapon prop, but I don't think that like we'll have like a, a weekly challenge for weapon props. Like I, I'd be shocked if that were a thing. I think that'd be great if it were a thing, but I'd be shocked if they were to go and say, "Hey, you know, we, the, now we have every week uh, you get an opportunity to get a weapon." I that to me would be pretty pretty dope. Uh, but I don't I don't know. And having said that, it'd be dope, but it still it still doesn't guarantee that you'll get a new weapon. Like you can still get a repeat and stuff, which sucks. I, I thankfully I don't think I've ever gotten one but I, I can't even imagine if I did I'd be like what my god be kidding me the, uh, the same weapon twice ah, where's my FAMAS which is really the only one I want I want the FAMAS I don't want the P40 but definitely the famous oh famous come home I'm over once I get this contract and I get that I get the, the weapon rod but we'll see I'm not I'm not trying to get my hopes too too high up because it's 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 lottery it's it's, it's luck and it's not necessarily fair and there's also a little bit of growth here now people getting more weapons and stuff uh there's a little bit of growth here in terms of the melee weapons. Like, I, I'm just seeing everyone with, like, a bunch of melee stuff. Because I think if you go and look at it, if you go do the math through it, uh, you, you're kind of going to end up with a, There's more melee weapons than any other weapons. I'm pretty sure about that. Between the knives and the stabs and all this other nonsense and axes and whatever. There's more melee weapons than anything. Uh, and swords. Um, so you're going to end up with those. So when, I, when I've got both, I was kind of like, yeah, well, that makes sense, you know. Uh, I was like, I mean, they're going to get this, or I'm going to get like a Marshall 16 or some, some nonsense like that. Um, God forbid I get my famous, you know. And it's all right, but I'm really liable. Like, even the MX Grand. I picked up the MX Grand the other day, y'all, off the streets. Off the streets, y'all. Yeah, I was like, kind of high, y'all. I was like, y'all, this, this weapon kind of high, y'all. I can't, can't even be tripping on this weapon. This weapon, this weapon kind of high, yo. Um... So it, it's it's a problem that isn't really fixing. I, I doubt it will be. I, you know, once you set this kind of precedent, I don't think they go back. Um, I do. I forgot. I had a guy behind me here. Uh, I do fully expect that Infinite Warfare will have, if not the same system, a very similar system. Um, and it, with the token that it's it's not necessarily pay to win because none of these weapons are. I, I don't know. I, it's difficult for me to say without even having them whether they, they could change the game or not. I, I feel like that Famas just looking at it, it's a pretty solid weapon. Like, uh, it, it, it doesn't set you apart, you know, and there's so many other factors in Call of Duty that uh, kind of even out the playing field. But it, it definitely doesn't make the playing field level, right? Like, we all don't have the same opportunities as somebody who has that weapon. And that, to me, is a little bit unacceptable, unacceptable especially when it's just forced and it's clearly just a ploy to make more money. Like, it ain't, it's not like... You know, the systems of the game. Let's put it this way. It's not like uh, you had all the weapons in like we used to have, and then you just level up and get them. 
and some people just maybe weren't good enough to like level up and they maybe never got like the G11 for example uh, in Black Ops 1. That's, you know, that sucks for that guy and we're not on the same level playing field, but that's just a matter of you got to get better at the game or you got to play it longer to level up. There's, uh, to me, there's a distinct difference between that and what we're seeing now in supply drops, which is, yo, man, you either got to put a ton of money into the game and not even guarantee that you're going to get anything, which is the craziest part. It's that you're not guaranteed anything. Like, you're not. You're, you're not. Or you just play a lot and get a lot of rare supply drops and hopefully you get something in. It, it sucks. It's a negative stain on, on an otherwise really good game um, that's being brought upon itself, which is something, you know, when you inflict pain upon yourself, it's something ridiculous, man. Hope you enjoy this gameplay, man. Tight Tuesday, your boy Marcos. Make sure you like the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. We outie, dog.